Greetings and salutations. I am Poetic Heretic, back with more paranormal news. Several news sources in Ghana claim two witches recently dropped right out of the sky. The first one fell in the Ashanti region in a place called Akiramadi. I am unsure of the pronunciation. Workers at a block-making factory stated that ar at around 3.30 in the morning they heard a deafening crash and then discovered a woman with a blood-splattered face in a glistening dress. It is unclear how they supposedly knew the woman was a witch. I will have more to say on this later. The woman ran from the scene before anyone could ask her what she was doing there. They pursued her to a domicile close by. They were joined by a, quote, colossal number of curious people that had somehow gotten wind of the incident. The mysterious woman gave both the names Gifty and Afia for herself. She stated she was airborne en route to Kwanwoma and ended up crashing due to coming into contact with some kind of electrical shock. No information on how or why she was on this journey was given. As for the so-called electrical shock, it was claimed in media reports that prayers caused it. As absurd as it all sounds, these electric shock-inducing prayers were allegedly from callers on a radio station in the area a radio station that assumedly was somehow precognizant of the imminent flight. The members of the mob stated they knew nothing, however. But they might have heard of the previous alleged falling witch. On the same night, a resident of the Tama locality said she heard a loud crashing sound. She was quoted as saying, I quickly came out and saw an old lady lying naked in front of my door, but when she saw me, she quickly ran and locked herself in our bathroom. But the resident was ready. She picked up some anointing oil, forced her way into the bathroom, and poured the oil on the so-called witch, who then allegedly admitted to having flown over in the form of a bird that upon falling then transformed back into a human. No explanation was given for this crash, not even electric shock-inducing prayers. After this, the witch who wasn't fled to a graveyard nearby. An angry mob was already in pursuit this time as well, threatening to attack her. One must wonder how news travels so quickly of these falling witches. It is outrageous that these women who are clearly not witches are being persecuted in this way. The accusations are baseless, absurd, illogical, and senseless, when the reality is most likely that those accused are accused because they won't conform to the expectations of others. They may also be people who suffer from various disorders and need professional help. Furthermore, there are people out there who claim to be real witches, and all indications are that most of them are not anything evil. But as is made apparent by the story, there will always be those who just don't see it that way. This has been another report from Poetic Heretic. Don't forget to rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe, and thanks for watching. Have you had a paranormal experience? Would you like your story featured in an upcoming video? Then head on over to facebook.com slash poetic and submit your story in a private message. If it is dark and scary enough, chances are I will use it in an upcoming video. Be sure to let me know who I should say the story is from, or if you wish to remain anonymous. Thanks for listening and have a defiant day.